Hello guys, welcome to Stoneheart and Banto. We're back in our Kingdoms inspired town and uh, Today we're gonna prepare a lot for Ogo's Skull Banker that is probably gonna arrive pretty soon So that's like a big big goblin army that we're gonna try to prepare ourselves the best for So I'm gonna look into if we're gonna get like a second knight or if we should perhaps like get a, like a second archer I feel personally that footmen's are kind of the best to fight with against Ogo because they do have so many troops and having cleave attack against them is such a powerful thing to get, so that's really nice. The latest episode we were crafting a mace and hammer, and it looks like it's actually done now. So we can go and promote copper, which is going to be our potter eventually. So he has to become first a mason, and then at level 2 or level 3 he can actually become the next step, which will be the potter. I'm just going to go and make sure that we don't go too far with being a mason. So we need to be level 4 mason to become a potter. So, I think what I'm gonna do for now... Don't be the daily goal. What I'm gonna do for now is to actually go to Flark and our current Mason. So, we're gonna select him and we're gonna demote him to be a normal worker. Just because I want our new person Copper here to be doing all the Mason stuff so he can get level 4 as fast as possible. So, we're just gonna start with some like basic crafting. A bunch of benches, a couple of chairs tables we might be using them later anyway and some nice lights of course but that's for level two it's good that we got a lot of stone for now probably gonna spend quite a bit and since we're gonna make some walls that's also gonna require a lot a lot a lot of stone let's get some basic things going here and uh, we could do some stone chests and some basic weapon we never know if we're gonna need some more of those and I'm gonna look into what to do in the Fountain of Plenty soon. Look at that, the appeal, 120 appeal. I haven't even seen that before. Do they give different ones? Could they all give the same, so that makes sense. That's pretty cool. We can almost make the Valor of Sid and almost the Guild Master's skill. But I'm kinda leaning towards the Fountain of Plenty, or it would be the Guild Master's skill, any of those two. Not too far away from any of those. And I wanna try to do Fountain of Plenty, so we would have to go over with the cook, and then we would have to do these boxes these ones and for that we need a rack of roast mutton and for that one I think we need to either we need to buy it I guess buying it might perhaps be the best way to go about it and then we just make uh, raw mutton I'm not really sure what kind of animal gives a mutton but um, I'm just gonna guess it's the pigs should be the pigs let me know if I'm wrong about that because we do have piggies so we might buy this or we will make it our own with some shepherd going on. The shepherd would be pretty fun to get, but if we can skip getting a shepherd for now, maybe we can keep him as workers. They can do other stuff for now. I'm gonna put my workers also to perhaps be doing something useful for now. These houses do require the potters, so we have to wait with those. This one we do need a potter a little bit. We could, I guess we could start to build it. I'm not sure if that's a wise idea to just start to build it and never finish it. But let's maybe give it ahead and um, let's make them try to do this one. That would be interesting. If my halflings are actually able to do our keep, that would be cool. Then we'll actually have a pretty mighty cool building going on. You can download this template, by the way, it's in the video description. So if you want to download this one, you can do so. All of the buildings for this town will be downloaded in the future, so you guys can use them in your own town. Do whatever you guys want to do with them, except for selling them, of course, that would be... Kinda of weird, but yeah, this is gonna be interesting. We will have to add some ladders here later on, so we can get up. So he has to do these holes for getting up. Yes, as I did for some towers, I added some holes here for the gate. We could put ladders to get up, just like I did for this one, our recent template. And I think it's gonna be very interesting when we do like an harbor. It's really gonna make it look more like a town instead of you only having buildings here. And we will have to look around a little bit later on. How many entrances do we want? Like, do we want to have? To have Three different gates, so four different gates. I definitely feel like I want to have one here because that would be up to the mountain. I think that kind of makes sense to have one to go there. So let's go ahead and we're gonna check out our troop a little bit. We have four footmen, James, Alicia, Banto, and Amelia. So I'm gonna look into see what kind of equipment we got. So Amelia's level one, level five, level one here, and level six. The five, six, and one, one. So we do need to level up Amelia and James, that would be awesome if we could perhaps find some goblins in the wilderness. Oh, oh, we got some ogre, that's pretty good, let's go fight him. 
Let's bring a troop over. Go, 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 go. Move on, move on. Invaders, okay, let's go for him. Let's go for this tough badass, Big Ogre first. Normally I like to go for the archers first because they are the guys that actually deal the most damage. But hopefully my tank should be taking most of the damage. And we have two clerics that should be healing pretty good. Awesome, the ogre's down. Go for these little weaklings. The guys with the hats deal more damage, but these guys are so easy to take down and we just remove a lot of damage pretty, pretty quick. Okay, let's go for this fellow. So what I really should look into for archers is to get his spike quiver. I talked a few times about, and that thing actually slows down the enemies. So it's really, really useful when you like change chasing the enemies to have that thing, because then they can't run away like they can do now. They can just keep running and running. So with that one, we will actually keep them at bay, and we'll be able to fight them, and take them down pretty, pretty easily. This guy was pretty tough, really. Xin level six cleric. That is awesome. That's gonna be very useful against Ogo. And I really want to get Ogre's weapon. I don't like to team up with him. I, I prefer to actually get their weapons. That's some way more awesome. Vaughn Fire level 4 Knights. That's really good as well. Damage reduction rank 2. 20% more armor from equipment. Elysia level 6 Footman. 60% more damage. James is level 3. So he went from level 1 to level 3. That's really good. And Sibudis level 4 Archer draw speed. Archer shoots arrows with greater speed. So that's really awesome. That was a good fight. Some good stuff gained for us. Uh, let's see, I think we might have to loot these. Let's check them out if we can actually loot these. Sometimes when the goblin have their camps, you have to actually go and put a loot command for those. Okay, let's see how they're doing here. They're digging a little bit. They're not too clever. But Alpha 23, by the way, which is um, going to be released as a stable very soon. This is the unstable 23. So the stable one's going to be released pretty, pretty soon. This is one of the last few, as I understand, unstable patches for this, if nothing changes. And then we're gonna get a stable Alpha 23. And after that, the next one, if I remember correctly, is gonna be with the building system. So that's gonna be really awesome, Alpha 24. Unstable, but that one, I'm just gonna guess that that's gonna be a very, very unstable one. Because we got a brand new building system, and hopefully you're not gonna get Harfling standing around like this. As, as you can see, they're not doing anything. So I'm just gonna put some ladders, sometimes that helps, so they can actually get down and move on. We can build a little bit. So I did say that we do have quite a bit of stone, but I can see this keep actually requires a lot of stone, over 70 stone. So we definitely want to go in here. Or in the other places, perhaps here, because we do have some iron here, so we might want to dig out a little bit more. Still have to dig here, I guess. That has been taking quite a while. So that should be good. We should be needing quite a lot of iron. So that's nice, we see that we got some Bearman, Billing, and Sauron. And uh, let's name someone. I got some more name requests from you guys, so we're gonna randomize the name who gets to join today. So today's name that's gonna join is gonna be Cassie, and Cassie is gonna be Emilia. So welcome to Town Cassie, hope you're gonna enjoy it here, and if you guys have name requests, always drop them in the comments, and I randomize who gets to join. Okay, so they're doing pretty good, they're doing pretty good, it's gonna be awesome. And what we can do for this keep later on would be to put our town flag, which we have, I don't know where it is, at the farm perhaps? Here it is. So we can actually go ahead and later on put it inside here, where we have quite a few doors and pretty defensive. And that could be our like last stand if everything's gonna fail. I don't think that's gonna happen for normal mode, but uh, if it would happen, it would, we would be able to do that. I was gonna go in, throw in another kingdom wall. Let's do an... Um, one with a stair we're gonna do. These you can also download. In the description and find this. This is a package with uh, all these walls. That should be awesome if you guys wanna have an easy way to build some. So here we go, the same thing for both sides. That's kinda how I wanna go with it. And have multiply ways to get up. So each gate is gonna have at least like two stairs to get up. Let's do medium one. Gonna be good. Okay, let's see how the mason is doing. Looks like he's crafting a bunch of things. We might want to add in a few more things, just so we are sure that we're getting a little bit of levels. So let's do some walls and some fences. Eagle Eye level 4 cook, that's awesome. Talking about the windows. There's some new, like, talk things, symbols I haven't seen before, so that's pretty interesting. 
I also wish my Arvind would work a little bit more. At least this guy over here, Arvind and Rel, is really, really happy trapping some foxes. I feel like when I plan maybe this wall pretty soon, I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna climb the hills or not, we might go a little bit of distance and perhaps we'll dig out this and that will give us some clay for our future potter. It's gonna be a lot of mining to dig all that out. That's gonna be a big, big work for us to do. It kind of looks like we're not doing too many things for the moment. We need to get some of these um, leather bundles to be able to make some armor. That would be good if we can have that. Rugged survivalist, we might be able to buy some pelts from him, perhaps even bolt of leather. I'm gonna move this um, maybe to the top here. We haven't got any pelts yet. It's kind of weird, I thought we would have something. Okay, so let's see here, we got some bolt of leather and also a lot of pelts. So I'm gonna buy some of these bolts. See if we have some, um, some of these. Wow, look at that. 64 gold, wall mounted tapestry. That sells really good. Ooh, they even made an, a nice looking wind chime. It sells for 60 gold. Hell yeah. Let's sell that. Oh, 20 of these. Oh my god, guys. The merchant have no more gold. I guess we can buy a few pelts then so we can move on a little bit faster. Trading is quite powerful in this game and I, I don't use it uh, as often as I probably should do it. But I, I have started to do it way more than I've done in the past and it's really worth it because you save a lot of time. You don't have to, for example, if you need stone, you need ore, you don't have to go up and mine here. You can buy it, drop it in town and you don't have to put your works to do that. Your workers can focus on like building, whatever other things they perhaps need to do. So it can really save a lot of time. So I would, for example, I would love to get a merchant that would be selling some stone to me. Because we're gonna need a lot of stone. But uh, what we could do would be to go and uh, make like a market stall. I think the carbon, I guess. We can make a blue market stall. These ones actually have so we can trade, we can sell, and we can buy a few stone and a few wood. And that could save quite a lot of time. I'm actually gonna put to make like, let's put to make like four of those. But they can be on the bottom. I don't feel like they're super important for now at least. I have a lot of other things we need to do. And we need to get some gold flakes going. So who was it that made gold flake? Was it the mason? It was mason, so we need the gold ore for doing that one, or gold ingots for this one. So level 4 is what we need for the mason. And I could do them now, because we do have Flargan that's pretty skilled as mason. But I'm just gonna keep him as a worker just for now. I really wish these harflings were a little bit more clever, like... As you can see, they are not doing their best. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's see some of these boxes. I think I put to have okay stone in this one, but we don't have any stone. So what we could do would be to drop it here and maybe they will put some stone in it. Or I guess they should be prioritizing if you take like, uh, let's see, like this one. A supply container for quick crafting. So I think maybe if we do drop these at the build site, try just to do like a few of those. I can do this one, I guess. I'm not sure if the works are allowed to take stone from those, so I guess we're gonna have to find that out. I'm just gonna put to have stone in one of them, and then we're gonna see if, if it's working at all. Because if they do prioritize to have this one and always try to refill that one, that would be a really good way to keep some stone next to when we're building stuff, and that should help the speed up a, a lot, even though the harflings like, get stuck and build up and they don't know how to get down, like this guy almost did here. They drop some food and stuff. At least they will have close access and we might want to do one more and for that one we would put some wood in that one because we would need a little bit of wood for this at least. So stone this one, we can only have 12 on it, but with 12 stone you can build quite a bit with, so. But look at that, there's so many people here and barely no one of them is actually building. So I'm really, I'm really, really happy to see the new building system. I see it smarter. I even been thinking like, you know, with buildings, if you played games like some of Age of Empires or those uh, real-time strategy games, for example, you put out the house, instead of, you know, going around realistically, be like building around, you have to climb and stuff and put scaffolding around. An easy solution for them to do that wouldn't maybe look as realistic would be to do like in Age of Empires and those real-time strategy games where you put out the building, 
Your halfling will just go and smash around the building like they're hitting the hammer around and they walk around the house and hammer it and bring the resources next to the house and they just stand there and build it. That would make it so much faster and I think they can even make that look pretty good. Let's add some smoke and some scaffolding that goes up and they just stand and hammer down there. That would like, it would solve pretty much all of the complicated stuff for them to move around. So I think that would be really nice. I'm not sure if everyone would feel like that's the way they want to have the game though, so... Depends on that, I guess. But it, you wouldn't see these things going on. You wouldn't see Harflings going around on the outside here, smashing it, going around with it. So I think that would be way better. Let me know what you guys think about it. If it would it be worth to make it a lot smoother, even though it doesn't look maybe as realistic. At least it would be way, way faster than this right now. And I feel like almost I want to destroy these ones. Because we want to move into some normal housing here later on. I guess we can move this one. We can prepare for some house. I maybe want to do, you know, in Kingdom's Castle we have this big, big building for residence. It's called uh, a manor. So I think I want to do a manor and put it down here. I'm not going to do it in today's video though. But that might be a spill build, spill build because it's a quite big building. Santiago Leva, Chief of Love 5 Farmer, congrats dude. You can see how many people I have idle here, look at them. All my entire village is idle. It's pretty weird, it's pretty weird. They probably have some kind of spot that they can't reach for now. Because you have to like sometimes you just have to throw out some ladders or places. I'm just gonna throw some on this wall and hope that that is some strange interesting way is gonna be able to do this. Okay, so for this one we're gonna have some wood. Okay, so we do have um, a lot of stone in this one. I'm actually gonna take this one and we're gonna carry it over here. That was the idea from the beginning also. We got a dangerous goblin. But no, what will Banter do? Can we defeat him? Can we? It kind of looks like my AI is kind of dead overall because it took such a long time for them even to react on me putting out the flag. So I'm not sure what's going on really. Just kind of, just kind of sad it's got to be that way because I love this game. It's a really awesome game and I'm looking forward to seeing more. But some things are just very game breaking for now. Can see level three footman. Congrats, congrats, congrats. So that should mean we're hopefully getting some better weapons soon. And the blacksmith should be able to do these. Awesome. Okay, let's move these to the top. We want to make sure we get some headgear done. And we also want to go ahead and do some iron helmets. So this one we don't even actually... We don't even need to have some leather for that. So I'm going to put to make like four. Maybe I won't even need this one. We'll see later on. But we need levels, so that's good. Perhaps we'll do some iron armor instead. Move that to the top. On there, and let's see what kind of weapons. Short sword, let's see what we got for the night. The Vaughn Fire for the moment. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong. Vaughn Fire got a bronze short sword, 14 damage. Uh, that one should be a little bit better, the short sword. So, two more in damage. Whatever is better is better, right? Steel circlet. I'm not sure if we got that or not. I would like to take to make some uh, full plate metal ones. We could do that. We could do one of these and one of those. Of those, we need some. I think some normal iron. S okay, steel. Okay, so then we have to do some of this steel. Do we have that queued up even? Okay, we don't. So let's maybe have to maintain like five. I think that should be pretty, pretty good. So we should see some better equipment fairly, fairly soon going on. That's awesome. So some building I'm thinking of bringing into this town pretty soon is going to be the marketplace. The manor. So I think those two buildings is going to be really nice to get in here. I also wish my people built a little faster. I feel like everything is taking so long. So I hope you guys are not going to get bored that everything is taking so long for Banto. Now almost everyone is building. I'm gonna remove like three people from actually building. 
so they can do perhaps other stuff. They can do mining and whatever other stuff they need to do. Look at this one, guys. 112 gold. So if you got a really good tailor, they look beautiful, by the way. So this one, normal 18 in appeal. This one gives 34, which is really good. So you could put that in the house to make people more happy. Feel better. But look at that, 112 gold. That's a lot for just yes, four fibers. <laughs> That's a lot. I can sell it down away though. Okay, so we got some we got some ogres and kobolds coming in, so we gotta go fight these guys. Let's see where are my people. Might have to rally my workers. Okay, let's see if we can go back. Oh no, we got one stuck over here. Bear man is stuck. <laughs> let's see how we're gonna do. We got some better better armor now. The same weapons almost. Okay, we're doing pretty okay. I think we can stay with one 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 night for now. Should be fine. Focusing on only one night to be healing, so that's really good. So after this battle, I'm just gonna look into and see if we can actually already make the spiky quiver. If not, we're gonna see if we can buy some pollo feathers so we can actually make it. Congrats, level four footman. Here we go, castle level four as well, that's awesome. Okay, we did pretty good there. So let's check out with, I think it is the weaver that does this quiver. So this is the one we want to do. We need one pollo feather. And if we're lucky, we might get a trader that sells it. If we're unlucky, we're never going to get it. So perhaps we will look into actually getting like a shepherd gun. So let's check out our trapper. Cat is level one. I think I have to be level two to be a shepherd. Okay, level two trapper to be a shepherd. So maybe Cat, you will actually become our shepherd later on. And then pretty close, pretty close with levels, very close. And then we get uh, like another trapper to get some more of uh, pelts and some nice meat for our people. You hear goblin war horns? Okay, Ogo is here, Ogo is called Bunker. At last we come to the place of the great shinies. Go forth, my minions, go forth, Ogo's Colorbanker's glory. For Ogo, for shinies. Take all the things. Okay, so they're coming for us. We just gotta have to find them. Let's see where they are. They got a camp over here, so that's nothing we have to worry about. Usually they come pretty far away. Okay, here they are. So this is the giant army they're coming with. And it's really, really dangerous. So we should gather our troops. Let's rally our people. Let's get onto the flag and let's get uh, gathered over by the farm. I think we'll be able to handle them pretty good. It's just depending on if one knight is good enough. Come on, my people. Move with me. Stand together, guys. Brace yourself. Ogre's coming. Uh, where's the knight? Where's my other people? Okay, let's go here. Uh, what are my people doing? They're not doing what they're supposed to do. Not following orders correctly. Okay, let's go for this big guy. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. The mountain is almost dead already. So one thing when you're fighting these goblins is that uh, if you take down this guy, Ogre Skull Banker, you will actually, if I remember, you will actually defeat the army. You don't have to fight anyone else, pretty much. But look at that! Look at the cleave from the footmans. <laughs> they are just destroying these goblins. Wow! And Ogre's almost dead. Awesome. Here we go. Ogre falls to the ground. What Ogre Skullbanker defeated? What Soothsay say? What Mountain say? What about Khan? What about next cycle? Mountain, fight on! He's already dead, dude. He's already gone. Just the last little goblins. As you can see, this went really fine. And no one has even lost one single bit of health. So one night, definitely good enough with two clerics and this amount of troop. So there we go, guys. We defeated Ogre Skullbanker. We got a good army. And we're improving it even more. So guys, this will be it for today with Stoneheart. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video. Drop name suggestions if you want to get a Harfling named after you. And thanks for watching today, guys. So make sure to subscribe if you want to be missing out for the next video. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.